Hey everybody, it's Juanita, and today I want to show you how to remove the background of a photo using PowerPoint 2010. Now, of course, if you're a proficient Photoshop user, you won't need this tip, but if you're like the average Joe, I am in many cases, I like to use little tools that are very simple and easy. And this one is one that I think you're going to like, and it's really quick, and I'm going to show you how to remove the background of this photo. Now I'm going to click on it first, that's your first step, because then it will bring up the picture tools option. Give that a click. Next go to the adjust group and click on the remove background command. As you can see a description of what this command does is down below. Now as soon as you do that, you'll notice that PowerPoint automatically removes the background of the, fo of the photo, but it doesn't always get it right. So what you want to do is make some adjustments. I need to go a little bit higher. And of course down here, I want this area. I want to keep it. So let's just extend it out because it's showing me what it thinks it, I want to remove. You can see it's removing my teeth, but don't worry about that. And I'm going to come all the way to the side here. All right, now I still have some areas that I still want to keep that PowerPoint thinks I don't. Let's come down a little bit, stretch out the area. And so I'm almost right where I want to be. There we go. But I don't want purple teeth. So I'm going to come up here to the refine group and click mark areas to keep. And I'll give that a click. Now I get a little pencil. And you want to start from one area to the other. Now sometimes it has enough intelligence built in. It knows you, what you want to keep. And you can just click it once and it automatically makes a smart adjustment. But sometimes you have to drag it across, so I'll give it a click. And I'll bring my pencil across to the other side. And la la, I have my teeth back. And there's a little area down here, I'll just give that a click. There we go. And if you see any more purple, you want to give that a click. I think that's good enough. I'll keep my changes. And now as you see, I have removed the background of a photo. I hope this tip helps. And please subscribe for more tech tips. Thanks for watching.